everybody welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to be doing a suggested airport update of Bridgetown International Airport or BGI. Bridgetown is a rather large international airport located in the Caribbean of course Bridgetown is the capital of Barbados. They have regular services to of course Central America, North America and Europe. It's a very popular holiday destination for especially the British. There are nine services from the UK to Bridgetown alone which is crazy operating on soon to be four airlines. There are also quite a few destinations to North America specifically uh, the US and also Canada. Uh, there are quite a few destinations to Canada as well which we will of course get to throughout this update. This update will be similar in vain to my uh, Caribbean fictional update that I uploaded in I believe 2019 uh, but this is going to be a realistic update of an airport in particular. We're not going to be taking from you know different Caribbean airports this is one specific Caribbean airport Bridgetown airports and joining us for the first time today we have gear down aviation or Instagram also known as aviation 2020 on YouTube hello everybody how's it going definitely go check them out on YouTube of course anyone can benefit from a few extra subscribers or views or anything like that Bridgetown is sort of his thing um, he knows a lot more about this airport than I do so yeah definitely go check him out and apart from that let's get started with this update starts go for the terminal here here we have this Air Canada 737 Max 8 uh, he's going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson uh, Air Canada have resumed service to Bridgetown now and they are using the 737 Max 8 it's pretty convenient that they are using this aircraft because this is one of uh, my two mainline Air Canada aircraft but this Air Canada 737 Max 8 he's going to be heading out to Toronto Pearson so this aircraft here we have a WestJet 737 800 uh, this aircraft is uh, in from Toronto Pearson and he's going to be making a tough flight out to Toronto Pearson. Um, this is a route that has been operating before the pandemic but is only just resuming now to strict Canadian border restrictions I believe they imposed earlier in the year which meant that Air Canada and WestJet could operate the flights here. Uh, WestJet are starting their operations on June the 19th 2020 on oh, 737s again. So it'll be nice to see them back, but this aircraft is heading out to Toronto Pearson. Next up, following on from the Canadian Airlines, here we have the JetBlue Airbus A321. Uh, he's getting ready for a flight out to New York JFK. Uh, it's one of the longest flights JetBlue operate at the moment. Uh, they also operate to Boston, but I don't believe the Boston route is currently operating. I may be mistaken about that, uh, but they're definitely operating the New York JFK route. They operate this route on the regular Mint A321, so that's really cool to see. Uh, next year we have a staple of uh, Bridgetown here, we have an American Airlines 737-800. Uh, he's going to be making our flight out to Miami this afternoon. And then following on from him, here we have this United Airlines 737-800. Uh, uh, United are a new airline to Bridgetown, well they will be in the future, they're starting service on December 5th. Uh, they're going to be starting flights to both Washington, Dallas and Newark Liberty International Airport. So this aircraft, uh, he's just arrived in from Newark and he's going to be heading out to Washington, Dallas. And next up here we have a British Airways 777-200ER. This aircraft is in from London Heathrow as BA255 and he's going to be making his return to Heathrow as British Airways Flight 254. This is what they've been operating mainly throughout the pandemic. Triple uh, seven two hundred, nothing more, nothing less. A uh, mix of the Rolls Royce Trent 800 engine triple sevens and the G90 triple sevens. Uh, if you didn't know, BA have both variants, uh, both engine types on their triple sevens. Um, you can tell by the registration. They have a mix of those. They used to operate Gatwick seasonally, however, um, the coronavirus pandemic has uh, suspended the service. It should be back though. Uh, we're expecting it back this coming winter um, winter season, so that'll be cool to see uh, the Heathrow and the Gatwick route being operated. Um, but this aircraft is going to be heading back to London Heathrow. And then next up here, the largest aircraft for this update, we have the Virgin Atlantic 747-400. Although this aircraft is retired, uh, Virgin Atlantic did used to operate this uh, aircraft to both London Heathrow and Manchester. Currently, Virgin Atlantic are just operating the London Heathrow route on the 787-9. But as the Virgin Atlantic 747 was such an iconic aircraft to see at Bridgetown in the past, I thought I'd add this into this update, but this uh, 747 Seven, uh, he's going to be heading out to London Heathrow. And next up here we have a brand new carrier to uh, Bridgetown. Here we have an Air English UK uh, A330-300. 
This is a uh, new route we're going to have here. We're going to be operating on the A330-300. Aer Lingus UK are a new uh, UK subsidiary of uh, the Aer Lingus brand, of course. They're going to be based in their operations out of Manchester, flying to JFK, uh, Orlando and Bridgetown initially. Um, Bridgetown is due to start on the 20th of October 2021. On the A330-300, the two A330-300s and two A321neos are all painted in the new livery. I believe it will be Echo India dash Echo Delta Yankee, which is the model you see in front of you, and Echo India dash Echo Lima Alpha, which is another A330-300 in the new livery. Uh, I'll be interested to see if they adapt the livery at all uh, to include the UK titles, but we'll just have to wait and see on that one. But this aircraft's going to be making his inaugural flight back to Manchester. And then finally here for the wide bodies, we have the KLM A330-300. And he's going to be heading out to Amsterdam. This is a new route to Bridgetown. Of course, KLM are starting service on the 1st of November this year. So that's really exciting. Next up here, we have a DHL 757-200. Uh, uh, this aircraft's going to be operating his triangular route to Port of Spain. Uh, so this route operates from Panama City over to Port of Spain and then up to Bridgetown. Uh, this is operated by Panama registered aircraft, so the 737s and 757s that are on the route are registered in Panama. Um, it's a lot more common to see a 737-400 on the route than it is to see a 757-200 on the route. Um, but because we don't have a 737-400, this is the best we could do. Uh, so this aircraft's going to be making his return out to uh, Port of Spain later on today. And then finally here concluding the updates, here we have a Copa uh, Airlines uh, 737-800. He is of course going to be heading out to Panama City. And just like that, that does conclude this update of Bridgetown International Airport. It's a really cool airport. They get just over 2 million passengers uh, per year on a non-COVID year. As I said, and as you've seen throughout this update, they do get a lot of service from specifically the UK. Uh, four airlines will operate flights to the UK starting this year. Of course, British Airways have their flights to London Heathrow and Gatwick. Uh, then, of course, Virgin Atlantic fly to London Heathrow and Manchester. TUI operates seasonal flights flights to Birmingham, Glasgow, Gatwick and Manchester. And then of course finally we will have the Aer Lingus UK route starting up to Manchester this year. But with that being said I'm now going to pass over to Geardown Aviation to conclude this update. So as Joe said that is uh, the end of uh, today's update. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed this airport. It's quite a unique uh, airport I like to think. A uh, good variety of internationals. Um, so it'll be good to see, um, we've got a few new airlines coming this year. We have um, Aer Lingus UK, of course, as I talked about, from Manchester to compete with like, Virgin Atlantic and TUI. We have uh, United Airlines, I believe, they're starting their flights to New York, Newark and Dallas, Washington, Dallas, uh, on the 737s. Um, I'm hearing mixed signals just now over whether it's the 800 variant or the 900 variant. Um, I suspect there'll be a mix of both. We also got, we've got KLM starting, they're starting their A330 300s to uh, Amsterdam, of course. Uh, these routes will be starting at the end of the year, I believe, along with United. Uh, so it's a big year for BGI. Um, if you want to see more uh, aviation photography content, uh, please go and follow my Instagram, it's geardown underscore aviation. Um, but apart from that, I will see you again soon. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Aviation 18's channel. It will really help him grow. Uh, he's a great friend of mine, and at the end of the day, it's great to see him, uh, his channel successful. So thank you very much for watching, and Aviation 18 will see you again in his next video coming soon. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. And just like that, that does conclude this update. But before I go, I have something very exciting to announce for all of you who stayed to the end of the video. Myself and the Aircraft Model Store are partnering up to gift you guys with a 10% discount code. If you use Aviation18 in capital letters when checking out at the Aircraft Model Store. This is a way for both me and the Aircraft Model Store to say thank you for your continuous support, both buying models from the Aircraft Model Store and also watching my videos. It truly means the world to me that you guys enjoy what I do and so I hope you guys enjoy that discount code and that will be valid up until the 19th of June. So again, that's a 10% discount code from the Aircraft Model Store when you use the code AVIATION18 in capital letters when checking out. That will be valid until the 19th of June and again, I want to thank you all very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.